All right, I'm back. I was trying to make, uh, I was making that video again, and Angela called. I had to take the call, which cut the video off. I'll try and remake it now. Maybe she can splice it together. Um, she was getting her tattoo. Dandelion. Looks good. I like it. I'm just going to add to it periodically. The memories of her mother and people with a bouquet or whatever on her back. Um, I can't remember where I was in the video. But Angela called me out. The doctor called me out. I started writing. They both said, it's like I was looking for another three year clusterfuck to involve myself in. So Angela wouldn't have having that. <laughs> but I was thinking, I was thinking they were right. I was like, why am I like that? So, like my doctor said, I started writing and I ended up like this. I guess to attempt to explain myself and to recognize to recognize that flaw in myself and to re-ground myself to things that are things that I ought to be focusing on. Go on. Get up there. Go on. Anyway, this is called Hurt Little Things. Hurt little things. In my world, I only... I fucked up already. In my world, I see only hurt, injured things. Things that need saving from their suffering. Some are as small as a baby bird. Others as large as a giant collapsing house. My world sees only injustice and negligence. I'm compelled to reach out and help all I can, but still others I cannot connect with. I triage the injured I perceive, assessing, obsessing, carefully choosing who I think I can heal regretfully leaving others in my shadow. Excuse me. I collect the mistreated, injured, lonely, lost souls, immersing myself in the perceived angst. Embracing that angst, their burden becomes mine. It becomes my life and consumes me like an ever-growing shadow at sunset. 
I reach too far beyond my personal boundaries. Stretch too thin like the hide on a drum. I am torn with every beat of my heart. The morning sun I need and crave is shrouded by dark clouds of winter's veil. And the shadows grow as so too does my undoing. I have not poured myself into that which needs saving. I have fell into a hole in the bottom of a bottle where only amber shadows of darkness exist. As I hide in my hole, I try to rest. But a little boy paces up and down around me, skipping, singing, and bubbling to himself. In his world, he sees only happy games and music. At random times, he slams open the door, allowing the loving light of his world to heal me. He draws me up and out of my hole. And without words, like a silent song, he tells me, Your family needs you as much as any hurt little thing. They need you even more. You help no one when you're down in your hole. He slams the door shut, paces, mumbles, and sings. He teaches me emotional boundaries. She teaches me forgiveness. I'm not looking for any more hurt little things. I got a family and a wife. I got responsibilities right here in front of me. I don't need to be going out looking for more to take on. I guess maybe the next time I see a house collapsing, I'll just let it fall. I need to be there for my family.